So this is the second video on how to use Google Earth Engine. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload and query vectors. So I'm particularly going to show you how to import a shapefile, how to query a shapefile in Google Earth Engine, and how to clip an image using a polygon, a polygon that I actually query from the shapefile. So, in the previous video, um, I created this simple code. I'm, in fact, I copied it and then I altered it, um, where we selected data uh, from the data set from Google Earth Engine, particularly the SRTM, and um, we selected the band on elevation. We um, um, analyzed the elevation and created the slope using this method, and then we focused the map on the area of Asheville. We assigned the minimum and the maximum value for a grayscale for the elevation as well as for the slope. Actually, let me go ahead and change this to English elevation. Okay. And um, what are we going to do now? Well, first of all, let's, let's create a new code. Um, I'm going to go and let you do it over here. Let's click new file and um, let me do it within videos. And um, call it video underscore two, okay? And um, that will create a new um, code, a new empty code, completely blank. Um, and we want to import some shapefiles. Let's get the shapefiles. And we can get them from this site, which is the NCDOT site. And in fact, you can just go ahead and, and, and type something like shape file uh, North Carolina counties and you should get to the site of, of um, NCDOT so you click there and um, you can see all the different data that they have there we're gonna download not the county boundary with shorelines are I'm gonna download the county boundaries we can download it, and, and the good thing about well, a Mac is that it, when it downloads it, it does the unzipping. If you have a uh, PC, you just have to unzip it. And then inside the folder, you should see this, right? All the uh, little files that are related to the shapefile. Um, so to upload that data, we have to go to, um, go to over here to the assets. And we're going to um, indicate that we're gonna create a new asset. So we click new, we click on shape files, and then we go to select, find and then download. I have this. And if you select everything, and you click choose, you will get this error. It doesn't like the SPX file. So you have to go again, select. You can select all of them and then unselect the SPX file. Click choose. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it with that name and click upload. And that will actually take a little while. So in the meantime, when, when while the asset is being created, one of the things that I'm gonna go ahead and do is start uh, writing a code and just as a, just to repeat some of the things that we were doing before, um, let's use in fact the SRTM dataset. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna call a var. Hmm, I'm gonna call variable is gonna call SRTM. It's gonna be equal to ee dot image and open, open, and then open here as well. And maybe I forgot how it, how is the name of that. So let's go here. No, not here. We go to Google Earth Engine. It's because I forgot what is the name of the data set. Variable data sets. Let's go to data sets, data set, data sets. Where are your data sets? Let's go to the data set. Here is the data sets. And um, we know it's some of the data sets related to terrain. Let's go look for that. Mm -hmm. Probably was easier for me to look for it in the 
in the um, in the previous code, but just so you can see how we go through this process, right? Oh, here it is. This is the name of it. So we're gonna put it inside the parentheses of my code. Great, so that's SRTM is gonna be the AE image that is calling that. Okay, so let's put a semicolon there to tell you tell that that's the end of the line. And now we're gonna call var DEM equals um, SRTM dot, dot select. We open parentheses and we single quote and let's see what is the name of that uh, band. I remember it was elevation. I just wanna make sure and show you that that's the way it is. So yeah, bands called elevation. You can copy paste it here. And then I'm gonna put it here for elevation. That's the end of that line. Let's see. And the map center, where are we gonna put that map center? Let's put it, let's put it in Asheville as well. So let's get that value of Asheville. So I'm gonna using inspect, I got this data, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go map dot set center and um, I'll put those values and the zoom. I'm gonna use a zoom of um, 13 for the moment. And um, I'll close here. Let's run that. Um, good. And um, let's add the DEM. So we're gonna write map dot add layer. And what are we gonna put there? So we're gonna put the DEM, right? And um, and what are we gonna do? We're just gonna assign the minimum value, which what was the minimum value? The minimum value was um, around 600. And we're also going to assign the maximum value, which was around 1,200. And we can call it, um, we call it DM. Let's click run. Okay, we have it there. Looking good. Okay, let's see if, if, if now we have those assets because it, it takes a while. Okay, oh yeah, we, we have it. Oh, and look, I had from the previous instance that I had uh, uploaded the shoreline. Um, but let's not use the shoreline because that's that could be more problematic later on. Okay, so, um, Okay, so now what are we going to do? We're going to see that um, vector that we have imported. Um, so go to the assets, okay, so here, and then go to the asset, which is uh, boundary conti. Let, let me go ahead and delete the, the previous one that I thought they would never upload. Um, let, let me delete the, so don't, you don't do that. I'm just deleting it just so I don't get confused. So I'm deleting the asset, and now you can see how to delete that asset. Okay, so, but let's go to the county polygon. Okay, so there you go, and we can click import. Okay, and now you should see like a, another little window in this area where we have the imports. And your shapefile of the boundary counties, it's called table. You could change the name for that, but I'm just gonna leave a table for the moment. Um, the so is the same for everyone. And uh, we can add that to the table, to, sorry, to the map. So let's go map dot add layer. And we can just write there table and run. And if I click that very quickly, right? So I have both the DEM and I also have that layer, but as you know, it's, it's all North Carolina, so you're not gonna see it at that zoom. So you have to zoom out to be able to see it. Is that good? Um, so in fact, we could just go ahead and put it like a zoom nine so we can see it. Too bad that right now I'm, I'm, I'm zooming to, into Asheville, but you can see, you can see the elevation and you can also see the, let me turn up the, the DEM, right? And it's called layer two because I did not give it any, any name. I just said, hey, add the layer table. We can, we can change those things later, but um, for the time being, let's leave it like that. Okay, so, so we have, uploaded a vector. Now 
one of the things that I want to show you is how to query that vector. So um, let's do the following. So let me add some lines here. And, um, and what I'm going to do, it's I'm going to use the uh, filter function. So I'm just going to call this var county. And um, it's going to be equals to get a better keyword. I'm committing too much errors. Um, table is the name of the uh, shape file at this moment, right? Because it's the name that we see here, right? This table. We're going to apply this uh, method in um, Google Earth Engine, which is filter. Let me go to filter and open parentheses ee dot filter now with uppercase dot eq and um let's see what we're going to put in that so what i'm saying here is like from from the vector table i'm going to do a filter i'm going to select from its properties but um what are we going to use so well i'm going to go to inspector and i'm going to look at i'm going to query i'm going to sorry i'm going to look at that vector information. So let's see where we have that information. So that's layer two. We see that it's a feature and um, we can see the properties. And we can see that I clicked in the area of the county, Buncombe, Buncombe County. And I, and I have a lot of temptation to call it Buncombe because that's how I would pronounce it, read it in Spanish. So sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I think it's like Buncombe County. Okay, so let's query for only Buncombe County and um, the name of the column is called county name, right? And that particular feature is Buncombe. So copy here and say single quotes, put the county name, comma, and um, single quotes, uh, Buncombe. I think I copy pasted, but I'll write it. Buncombe. There we go. It should work now. Let me put a, a semicolon here to indicate that is the end of that line. And now let me go ahead and put it here instead of showing table. I'm just going to show county. Let's run that. See? Great. So you can see that I have query only for Buncombe County. And um, <laughs> you should look at this little tail that it has here. It's interesting. I would like to find some information about that. But you can see that it has like a little tail. And it's probably that they purchased uh, the area where the airport is from the other county. I will have to find that information. So, okay. So we have now the uh, county selected for Buncombe. And what are we going to do now? So I'm going to do a clip. And a clip is a very useful method if we want to reduce the amount of data. So for instance, I just want to show you the DEM for Buncombe County. What I'm going to do is create a, a new variable. So it's going to be DEM uh, Buncombe. Sorry, Buncombe. And it's going to be equal to the DEM, right, which was the image of the elevation. I'm going to use the method clip. And when you give the method clip, you give it the vector that you're going to use for clipping. And in this case, we're going to use the vector called county. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and then I'm going to copy paste. Let me put a semicolon here so I just don't forget. Um, I'm going to use that. Uh, that variable and I'm going to put it here. So now I should only see a DEM for uh, for Buncombe. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it did work. Very good. So that's great. So now you can see how to create a clip. So we imported an asset. We query the asset um, and selected only a, a, a feature within that um, that asset. And then we did a clip. So now you know how to do uh, other methods using vectors and um, images.